hell of an intro that'd be good. Oh my god. Oh, CCD fart. Oh. Some shit. Jesus Christ. You alright? I'm still going. Oh my god. Oh. Just too hard. Put the bucket. Cut out. Lay a cable. <laughs> oh, gorilla's finger. <laughs> gorilla's finger. <laughs> Chocolate. Like a baby's arm. Ben and Chrissy is having a card, Aries, and welcome back to an exciting video S2K video. What are we doing today, Chrissy? Well, very exciting one for you today, Benjamin. It is, there's another we big one for S2K. The uh, BC Racing Coil Overs, motherfuckers. Massive thanks again to Danny and the chaps over at Dino Days Performance Parts for hooking me up with a redonkulously good deal. As per usual, the legend that is Danny. It is, so, uh, at well, Dino Days. Let's let's have a look, shall we? We'll do a little cinematic, shall we? Should we do cinematics? Are you gonna, are you gonna cue it? Yeah. Cue cinematics. Don't they look delicious? They do look they delish. Bad boys. Oh, motherfucker! It's fully adjustable, obviously, because it's a coilover. Uh, I believe. It's been a long time since, since I've fitted coilovers. Can't remember what car I put them on. My XR2i, I think. Oh, very back nice. Back in the. Back in now. Would have been late 90s. Early 80s. <laughs> early 80s. <laughs> Cock. Um, I think they got like 30 points of adjustment for soft to hard. That The bottom. Ring is obviously ride height. Your top two ring, one's just a locking nut, the other one adjusts the preload. But I think the preload is already pretty much set for the car. So that's the front one, and they come with the brackets, which is amazing because a lot of coil lovers don't come with a little bracket for your brake lines. Ah, right, okay. But these do, which is good. Bonus. And then you've got the rear one. I've obviously got one of each. I've just got one side. And you've got the rears. Fucking sweet, mate. A bit of quality of that, isn't it? Yes, yeah, like nice. that. Very and nice. what I liked as well was because on the OEM shocks, the bit at the bottom, this bit, uh, the nut is welded on. So when you slide the bolt out, obviously it, it screws into the other side yeah. of, of this. Yeah. So I was a bit worried. I was like, bollocks. Like, what am I going to do? Kind of thing. I even said to you, didn't I? Yeah, you did, yeah. But they even give you a, a little nut to go on there. A little, with, it's even got a nylon locking bit in it as well. So they even give you a little nut. Sweet. Handsome. So, we've done the hard bit. Well, I've done the hard ben bit. Done the hard I was, bit. I've been down here for a while, haven't I? Like the last few days. Yeah. Just sorting out the rust and that on the S2K. And I'm not going to film it because it's such a bitch of a job. Yeah. I just want to get it done. But you put a lot of graft into that car. So I have. It's wire wheeling all the surface rust off, treating it, then wire wheeling it again, then priming it, then putting the wax coating on top. I've just got the underneath to do now, really, which is the worst bit as well. Lying underneath like uh, the drill. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's worth doing, mate. It's worth doing. It is. Worth it's made doing. a massive difference it already, and it like it looks really yeah, and tidy. Ah, uh, cut my finger. Oh, careful, so let's go and have a look. I'll show you. I will show you taking off of the old suspension, obviously, but. Can show you what I did to take it off. It's like three bolts. That's it. And they weren't too bad. But Chris ain't got his sweats on today. Chris has got his sweat shorts on. Oh, I say. You look like a model. I need a wee. Do you want to see our toilet? Just going to the toilet. This is our toilet. Look. There it is. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so, Mark, Mark, see it. Say hi, Mark. Oi. Fagging hand, look. What are you doing? He's doing his calipers, isn't he? Yeah. Trying to. The proper way, with them off the car. How come you've got these calipers then? If you I've got them off the scrappy. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. I do. 15 quid. 15? That's a big as well, isn't it? 
beasts. Ooh. See why we hold them all off. Nice one. You're going yellow. He's going yellow. Yellow and blue, and they're going on the tractor over there, look. The Massey Ferguson. So, all it is is, you've got two bolts at the top there, which is the uh, upper control arm, I believe. <coughs> two bolts up there, and then one at the bottom, but you have to undo them to get them out, otherwise the, uh, the original strut will not come out. And then there's just another one down the bottom, and that's the nut that I was on there. See, that's welded onto this. So they do give you a spare. No, and this stopped. side is even easier because it's literally just that one bolt there and then obviously you two at the top. The sod about the top ones is you've got one there, it's just two bolts, but this one as you can see is underneath the fucking all the fuel filler pipes and shit. So you have to take out the three bolts there which removes that and then you can pull that out the way because it's rubber oh there's a bolt there as well which holds that bracket on and then you can pull that out the way which enables you to get down there it's a bit of a bitch that one Not sexual chocolate Ooh. it's a bit of a bitch that one so the hardest bit of this is really just gonna be setting them up snowing. i think snow is oh my yeah. god it is honestly it's like bright sunshine yeah it's weird no. this weather is weird today Fucking snowing it's odd so, fuck me, were you going skiing, Bob? I am. It's not hard. How right, can we start with this one? We're going to start with the rear. I think, because it's the hardest one. We've got the hardest one out of the way. Exciting times. Yeah, so uh, we'll get him in. And then we'll. Uh, oh my god. Oh, I can feel your piece on my butt cheek. Oh, that's so big. Gross. It's not really. It's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Nubbin. <laughs> my nubbin. So we'll get the rears on and then we'll check back in once they're on. And uh, what we're going to do as well is we're going to offer up the new coil over to the old shock just to see what the, the height difference is to get a rough idea of yes. height. Yes. So we'll come back to you in a bit. Hello, Chrissy. Hello. Hello. Right, all four are on. There they are, look, the buggers. Bolt it up to torque specs. <clears throat> of course. That can fucking sweet. Two dugger duggers. And there, can't see anything because it's fixed back. Get that back on. So, what we're going to do is they're all roughly the same height, well, the front's the same height, the rear's the same height. It's kind of as they came. So, we're going to drop the car. See where it sits and go from there, basically. Isn't this crazy? Much, I think mate. what we're going to do with these is I'll figure out how many clicks there are on these, and then we'll click them all the way to the right, find the centre on all of them, and then see what it rides like on the medium setting, isn't it? Yes. And then go from there, and then I can make them stiffer or do softer. Do tweaks? Do you tweaks? As to however I require them. <laughs> <laughs> Such a fucking creature, mate. You are. Yeah, it was fucking piece of piss, really. Piece of piss. The hardest bit's on. getting the old ones off. Going on. Come on then, clicky clickerson. All right then. So they're on, obviously. And then this, obviously, I'm, I'm sure everyone knows how a fucking coil ever works. But obviously, this clicking it left or right determines how soft or how hard the coil ever is, and how soft the ride is, and how hard the ride is, depending on what you're doing. So I don't know what they're going to be like on any setting, obviously. So I've read the booklet and there's 30 points of adjustment. So if I click it all the way to one side, that'll be number 30, obviously, until it stops clicking like that. And then I'll click back 15, which will be halfway. So we'll be halfway and then we can adjust from there whether it's too soft or too hard or whatever else. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And repeat the process on the other side of... Yep, and there is. <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there we go. That rear one's going to be an absolute dick. <laughs> this one won't be. Right. 
don't know what I'm filming. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Every time I want to adjust these, I'm going to have to <laughs> take this fucking fuel pipe thing out of the way. Go on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. So we'll get that back in, put the bolts back in, drop her down, see how she sits. And if she's not too low, we'll go for a drive. If she's too low, we won't be going for a drive, will we? <clears throat> Definitely lower. Stuck a little. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Definitely lower. Uh -oh. Going up. You turn the jack. Ah. You turn the jack, can't Yeah. Going up, man. Put some wood under it. Huh? Yeah, let's put some wood under the wheel. What's sat on the exhaust? Huh? What? It's sat on the... On the no, we can see that. When it drops, it's the exhaust is sat on top of the Oh, sat on top of the jack. Twist the handle of it and we'll spend. It's as tight as we're going, isn't it? It's only because I can't get any of the leverage. Leverage! Yeah, it used to come out of there fucking easy, didn't it? It was tight with that exhaust on, because it's bigger. Sure enough. Handsome. Same colour as that, that is. <laughs> Still trying and error. See, I've just sussed what size bits of wood I needed the front jacket, what size I needed for the back jacket, and now it's all changed. Now I have to figure it all out again. You know, like with yours, we know you need one little bit and then the wedge so yeah. to get onto it, so it's over this. And that's all changed, so it's just trial and error. There you go. Is he on? He's on. All right, it's slowly this time, It's really hard to do this, Jack, slowly. It just kind of goes. Fucking loads of them now, boys. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what a noise. Yeah. Got me. It sounds like Mark's wallet opening up. <laughs> Prick. <laughs> Fucking boy, you got drinks. Wow. Harsh. Harsh. Harsh but fair. Firm but fair, my That's it, mate. Off, boy, are we off, boy? off, boy? Are off, boy? Ba ba bum bum. Clear! Stand! Clear! 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 Fuck me, still going. Again, they're going to settle, aren't they, loads? Oh, it takes weeks for it to... Uh... It's a lot lower. It's called fuck me, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. It is, isn't it? That's a lot lower. Good low, though. It's not too low, is it? No, no. Check, we'll get it out and check the fucking wheels aren't hitting anything. I was expecting it to be kind of similar to standard because I haven't touched it. And I've kind of lined them up together next to those ones. And... They were very similar, maybe three quarters of an inch. But yeah, I was going to take it for a little fucking draft, let's stay there. Right, she's yeah. down on the ground. Right. Definitely lower, not a lot lower, but definitely lower on the back. Without a fucking doot. So let's take her a drive for it. Let's <laughs> That's right, no on, rubbish. On the coil over. No rubbish. Listen for any knocks and whatnot, obviously. I've got a funny feeling that one of my, uh, you know, those stupid stone shield things on the discs. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. That we ripped off of my FN2. They're a nightmare, those things. One of them is slightly touching one of the fucking discs, I think. Pain in the arse, they are. They are a pain in the arse. Oh, I say, it's busy. It's very really busy. Oh, left? Yeah, right there.
been working. For a change. For a change. So there we go. Coilovers yes. are on. Coilovers are amazing. on the bugger. They've obviously got some good <clears throat> set over the next couple of weeks, I would imagine, like Springs would, I would think. Yeah. Settle in. Looks sick though. But Looks sick. Like it. For kind of. On I didn't touch the ride height. That was out of the box ride height. Preload was already set. And as we showed you we just put it bang in the middle of the like dampening setting as to f uh, soft or firm so, nice yeah. ccd fart well ben, happy ben's happy it's coming and together it feels amazing like yeah. it's just i was proper giving it lefties and righties and me and mark went for a little burn in it as well and the difference is just like night and day it really yeah. is it's fucking brilliant so again thank you daniel and dino days performance parts for hooking me up with the BC coilovers, they're freaking amazing. Go and check out all their socials and their YouTube channel and their website down below. Discount codes for tactical racing, toxic knobs, carbon my ride. Go check out Fiberworks as well. Yeah, Fiberworks. They do a lot of stuff for your FNs, your wide arches and all that sort of stuff. Next week, I should be getting, well, he did say he was might personally deliver the stuff for my SDK. <laughs> next weekend so yeah he did didn't he yeah. might even get to meet him it'd be nice if he does i'll see if you ever want to do a bit, a bit on camera and say hello to you all that'd be cool good, wouldn't it? yeah decent see you hungover it might be a <laughs> it was probably. our weekend didn't it yeah so probably. anyway so yeah you better make sure you go do all of that and uh yeah we love you all we should see you on the next video peace out bye, bye.